The Adventures of Paddington. First Halloween. Dear Aunt Lucy, today I learned about a celebration where children dress up and have fun. Well, actually, it's not just the children who have fun. It all started in the kitchen. The Browns were looking at a pile of strange decorations on the kitchen table. It's Halloween," said Mrs. Brown. "A special day when people dress up and do things to scare beasties away." "That doesn't sound fun," said Paddington. "Oh, it is," said Jonathan. "We'll show you." Paddington helped Judy and Mrs. Bird put up Halloween decorations on the outside of the house. There were ghosts, spiders, cobwebs, and pumpkins everywhere. This doesn't seem all that scary," said Paddington, feeling relieved. Suddenly, a bouncy bat decoration swooped down towards Paddington, making him jump. Ah! Sorry, Johnson shouted from the balcony above them. Why don't you join us, Mr. Curry? Asked Paddington politely when the Browns' neighbor arrived home. We we're having all sorts of Halloween fun. No, thank you. I hate Halloween. Mr. Curry grumbled. I shall lock my door, turn my lights off, and be glad when it's all over. Later in the treehouse, Jonathan and Judy showed Paddington how to carve the perfect Halloween pumpkin. You need to make a scary face," explained Jonathan, carving the pumpkin with his spoon. "Like this," added Judy. "Whoa!" gasped the poor bear, stumbling back in fright. He backed further and further away until. Paddington toppled out of the treehouse. Luckily, he managed to grab hold of a rope and sail safely down to the ground. But the pumpkin came tumbling down after Paddington and landed right on his head. Squelch! I'm okay," he mumbled from inside the pumpkin, wobbling from paw to paw. Mrs. Bird had told Mr. Brown that nothing would scare her, so he sneaked up on her while she was doing the washout. Rawr! But she didn't even blink. He hid in the bathroom cupboard to frighten her. When she opened the door, she but she piled toilet rolls on top of him and calmly walked away. He even gave her a trick box of nuts to open. With a springy snake hidden inside, but nothing happened until he opened it himself. Boing! Ah! Meanwhile, Jonathan and Judy helped Paddington get ready. Tell me again," asked the puzzled Paddington. "Why am I dressed as Pigeonton?" Jonathan explained that on Halloween, people dress up and go trick or treating. If people don't give us a treat, we play a trick. Paddington thought that sounded a little mean. Would you mind awfully if I do treat or treat instead? Treat or treating? That does sound much nicer," agreed Mrs. Brown as they set off. Let's try it. They arrived at Mr. Gruber's store. He made them jump by popping out of a huge pumpkin. Treat or treat? Paddington asked, offering him a marmalade roll. Oh my goodness! Gasped a delighted Mr. Gruber. Thank you, and here are some treats for all of you. And here's a little treat for you. Said Paddington, offering him another marmalade roll. 
Happy Halloween, Mr. Gruber. Everyone cheered as they waved goodbye. Happy No Shade, the Brujas. Cheered Sophia when the treats or traders arrived at her cafe. Oh dear, said Paddington, looking worried. We aren't celebrating that, Sophia. We are celebrating Halloween. Don't worry, said Sophia. Noche de Bruges is what we call Halloween in Colombia. Here are some treats for you. And she put sweets in older buckets. Thank you, and here is your treat, Sophia, said Paddington, kindly offering her a marmalade sandwich from his hat. After a few more visits, the treat or traders arrived home. Welcome back, said Mrs. Burr. Did you have a good time for the world's first treat or treat session? said Judy, holding out her full bucket. I'd say it was brilliant, but Paddington had noticed something odd. Mr. Curry's door was open. That's strange, said Mrs. Bird. He said he was going to lock his door as he didn't like Halloween. I do hope he's all right. Mr. Brown thought they should check, so they all crept inside. Mr. Curry, are you all right? Mrs. Bird called. There was a rattle from underneath a metal dish on the kitchen table. Mrs. Bird slowly picked it up and... Boo! Ah! She screamed when she saw Mr. Curry's head underneath, painted green and surrounded by sausages. Mr. Brown raced in laughing. We flapped on flappable Mrs. Bird. Best Halloween ever, Mr. Curry and Mr. Brown said together, delighted that their trick had worked. You didn't scare me, replied Mrs. Bird at first, and then changed her tune. Okay, you did. But Mr. Curry, I thought you didn't like Halloween, said Paddington feeling a bit confused. I'm afraid I don't have any treats left. I love Halloween. I just pretended not to for Mr. Brown's plan, explained Mr. Curry. Don't worry, Bear. Making Mrs. Bird jump was my treat. We decided it was much more fun to give treats rather than treats. Apart from Mr. Curry, who really liked the trick he and Mr. Brown played on Mrs. Bird. Really, they behave just like children. Happy Halloween. Love from Paddington.